And so I think another thing that it takes for us is, is that our clinicians, you know, are encouraged to also look at what might, what else might be going on or evolving in our own lives. And are there areas of recovery that we haven't tipped into yet? You know, and it's just an understanding. I don't think it's pushed on people. Is it guys? I don't think so. I think it's more like that understanding is encouraged that it's okay to keep evolving. And Hannah, I'm really grateful that, um, that Joe had mentioned you because I feel like that you are extremely humble. Like, and I think that you've been a really great example of um, resilience and, you know, and, and being able to like um, back up and self examine and um, come back strong in whole new ways, you know, and take on leadership at SunCloud and, um, and just model so much. I'm not surprised that your groups are like that, that they're right in there. Your facial expressions are like, they say so much. I think that like you and Dr. Kim, um, and I was witnessing this in her supervision too, like she like just goes in for the kill. And by the kill, I mean truth. Like she will get to the truth no matter what. Is like she's a warrior for truth. Like, you know, almost like a, I don't even know, something. You and her both have that though. And I think that in order, like I, everyone on this screen has that. That's what I see as I'm looking at everyone here. Like everyone, we all want it in our own lives. And um, I think we have a gratitude for you and Dr. Kim. I have so much gratitude because it's affected me personally. Um, I was supported in ways that um, I feel like there has to be like real love and care in order to be supported. And I feel like there's so much love at SunCloud for the team. Um, and it really starts at the top. So um, I just see you as someone that helps people get to their uh, truth. Um, and I think that's just a gift that God gave you. Mm -hmm. And you? 